Now, beginning next week, the government will ship millions of N95 masks to pharmacies and community centers so you can get one free. But these kind of masks do have some limitations. Our medical reporter Liz Bonus explains why. Hey there, hello to you. N95 masks and their international counterparts known as KF94 masks are often made of multiple layers of what's called polypropylene. It's a synthetic fiber that's designed to achieve a very snug fit right around your face and a very tight seal around your nose and mouth. Any mask is better than no mask, um, although most of our data would show that wearing our cloth masks probably aren't as protective, protective as we think. So if we're able to get a surgical mask or even an N95 mask, those are probably the better ones to wear. The problem is if you don't have a fit test conducted like this, or if you have facial hair, contaminants or viral particles can still leak into the N95 mask. So Dr. Robert Thaller of Ohio's TriHealth Primary Care says, well, Yes, there is some data that N95s are probably the best. A well-fitting surgical mask that looks like this, or even a double-layer cloth mask may be more comfortable, and you may be more likely to wear it in high-risk settings. I, I tell my patients right now, especially with the current rates of COVID-19, that if you're going out to a grocery store or to um, other places where there's other people who you don't know what if they have COVID or not, that they should be wearing the mask. So the bottom line, in practical terms at least, is that a double layer mask that fits well and one that you'll actually wear all day, likely the one that is most likely to protect you. I'm medical reporter Liz Bonus. Now back to you.